What's going on? My name is NFT Flenny, and today I'll be showing you guys how I made over $15,000 in profit in just one week through Disney's Golden Moments collection that dropped exclusively on the VV app. So I'll be going through each collectible in the order that it came out. I'll be talking about how I got it, how much I paid, my thought process, just everything about the process that went into it. And I can show you guys, of course, the profit as well. Also keep in mind that at the time of recording and when I pulled these prices, these are not even the highest prices that we have already seen from these collectibles. We saw a big run up and then a bit of a cool off. So we're currently in the cool off phase. So my profit was more like 20,000 at its peak. And I fully expect that to go back up soon because there's just so much going on for Vivi. These collectibles are top tier blue chip. And the VV team actually said recently that this week we are starting phase two of the Immutable X migration, which will move us from GoChain to the Ethereum blockchain, which is the most popular, well-known and secure blockchain in the entire world. So that's going to open us up so much as a result of that, as well as many other factors. I think these prices will only continue to climb. So I'm not worried. I wanted to make the video how I made 20K in profit, but I felt like since it wasn't actually 20K, at the time that I'm showing you guys, like it might have been clickbait, so I played it safe. So I'm actually showing you guys maybe some reverse clickbait here. So with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see, I made a handy little spreadsheet to show you guys all the information. And we're just gonna start off with Homer and Bart, the first collectible that dropped as part of the collection. So we're gonna unhide this, and here we go. So I was unable to get this one on the drop, and that's because if you're around for that, you know the app just completely crashed a few minutes before the drop and most people could not get in. And if you were in, you were probably able to get multiple. I was one of the people that was locked out. That's why I had to buy it from the secondary market. So when the market first opened up, they were going for less than retail, which I could not believe. Like that's just nuts. The, the first ever Disney drop and that's going for less than retail. I don't know who is selling that, but people were and I was trying, but every single one I was getting a payment error on and just because people were buying faster than the app was refreshing so I kept trying to buy kept trying to buy I was trying for no joke like 15 minutes could not get anything so I got a little frustrated I took a little break and I was trying to learn from my past experiences mainly being Marvel so the first ever Marvel drop spider-man first appearance came out and prices were very high ultra rare was over a thousand Secret rare was over 2,000 or 3,000, I believe. I FOMO'd in. I pay. I didn't pay that much for an ultra rare, but I paid just above a thousand for an ultra rare, and the price just kept going down and down and down and down. And at one point, the secret rare Spider-Man, which last time I checked was around eighteen thousand dollars, <laughs> at one point was like 1.2k, and I paid 800 for an ultra rare. So I was like, you know what? I can't buy one. The price will probably go down anyway because there's a whole week long left of drops, and so. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait, the price will probably drop. It didn't drop, it kept going up. So eventually I had to pull the trigger. I could have got one for, you know, just over retail if I was maybe more more on it, if I waited a little bit longer, but you know, you can't time everything right. You can't predict everything right. So I ended up paying a bit of a premium, but hey, looking at it now, I'm not complaining. We have 190% gain and $491 in profit. So that is great. By the way, I'm not gonna spend this long on every collectible. That was just a setup for some of my thought process. So moving on. Let's do Bart's skateboard. So bought this one at the same time for 355 and now it is just above Homer and Bart at 790. Now in my golden moments rankings, I have this one, I believe last. And that's just because, you know, it's not a character. It's not very significant to the show. And that is reflected in the price difference because this is rare and Homer and Bart are common, I believe. And the price difference is only $40, Bart skateboard being $40 more. And my percentage gain on this one is not as good, but that was the first day and that was the Simpsons drop. And we are already looking very good, but it gets a lot better. This is maybe some of the worst that I have done. And the worst <laughs> is not even bad at all. So moving on, we got day two, Elsa. So for this drop, like I mentioned, the app was crashing. The tables actually turned for me this time because I was the one that was able to get in the app even though it was crashing. I wasn't able to buy anything for the first 20 minutes. After those 20 minutes, I was able to start buying and I was actually able to get two. I actually made a trade, which I'll talk about later on when we get to it. So I got this one for the drop price and she is now just under $1,000. $929 profit with a 1,500% 
increase. That's very good. So next we got the Sorcerer's Hat. And by the way, Elsa and the Sorcerer's Hat are both part of the first Disney Disney drop, not a purchase license drop. Just a little tidbit to throw out there for you guys. Here we go, Sorcerer's Hat. So I paid $4.95 for this. And actually, I paid $4.95 for a sub-1,000. The hat wasn't doing so good at the beginning, I think because people didn't think it was all that cool just because it was just a hat. But it's a Mickey's hat, and it's a very iconic Disney collectible, very iconic Disney symbol. So as I saw the price start to climb, and I seen the trend of prices climbing as opposed to the first Marvel drop where they were dropping, I saw the trend, and I was like, okay, I need to buy this before it continues to keep going. So usually when prices continue to climb, people who listed their low mints for a higher price at the time. So say the floor is down here and they put their sub 1000 for up here. But when the floor starts to go up and up and up, and if they're not paying attention or if they don't know or if they're asleep, whatever, their low mint starts to get closer and closer to the floor. So I sometimes look for that and it can be a good strategy if you're trying to get some deals. So that that's what happened with this. I'm not sure if the person knew or not, but that was my thought process. And I was able to get a sub 1000 sorcerer's hat for $495 and as you can see it is now just under 3k for a $2,400 profit increase and a 486% gain so that was a very very good purchase in my opinion next up believe this is Wally there we go Wally so this one actually was when the trend started to shift a bit i was like you know what i'm gonna buy something straight after the drop these these only go up people who get it at first they must not know the true value they're selling it for cheap i was like all right this time i'm buying it as soon as i can so that's what i did as soon as the market opened i was going for it and i was getting the same thing as i mentioned with homer and bart i kept getting payment error payment error payment error i was trying my best and then i went to buy one and i I, uh, I missed out, I didn't get it, I got the payment error. But then, I saw you own one edition of this collectible. I was like, what? Because it never went through, like I never, it never said purchase successful. So I was like, what are you talking about? So I went to my transaction, sure enough, it gave me an error, like it sometimes does on the drops, if you guys have gotten that before, where it says error, but you actually have one pending. I kept getting errors, but turns out one actually went through. So, got one for 305, and then actually, this one dropped in price. <laughs> quite significantly almost in half at the lowest of the low a bit unfortunate but really I, i'm really not complaining at all i i really see this one this is the first pixar nft i love wally he's a cool guy so i don't mind having this one could have got for a bit cheaper and the the time i really went for it for the first time like immediately after the drop was the first time that the trend reversed but it's whatever that's what happens with vv sometimes you know this is 115 percent gain which is also one of my <laughs> my worst pickups of the week believe it or not so that's Wally. And then along with Wally, we had the Pizza Planet truck. Which I actually bought this one off of my grandma. So <laughs> my grandma got this on the drop. She's awesome. She does very well on drops. She has a magic touch, I think. One time she actually got two back-to-back -back ultra rare comics. But I bought this off of her. And it is now sitting at 695 floor price for a profit of 635 with a 1000% gain. Next up, we have Iron Man. So I mentioned before that I got two Elsas on the drop. So my mom got Iron Man. So I traded Elsa for Iron Man because my mom loves Elsa and I didn't have Iron Man. So I had two of them, made a swap, got Iron Man for the floor price essentially. There we go. Floor price for Iron Man is now 849 and a profit on this one is 789 with a percentage gain of 1300. Next up, the Avengers logo so this one I wasn't very keen on getting I wasn't I didn't make it a priority I wasn't really gunning for it immediately uh, because if you watch my rankings video I I tend to think that the logos and you know the skateboard and those types of things they might not do as well just because they're not characters people don't have the same emotional attachment to them they don't have the same recognition i didn't value the logos as highly as prices started to go crazy they're going up and up and up i this was the last collectible from the entire collection i needed so i was like okay if, if i keep waiting it might be un unattainable and i just need one more for the whole collection so let me just lock it in let me get it and this one is also a sub 1000 so keep in mind that for sub 1000s the floor price will be higher than what a normal collectible floor price will be so for the avengers logo 
and for the sorcerer's hat for me i can i can sell these for more than the floor but this is just the minimum profit this is the, the most conservative estimate of my total profit so that's the avengers logo 133 percent profit on that one but keep in mind again sub 1000 so here we go next up c3po last time in my last video i was saying cp3o and i'm sure i made tons of star wars fans mad about that so this time i'm, I'm getting it right c3po i bought him for 300 dollars, and this was after the drop for Star Wars, I knew this is one of the largest fandoms, one of the most successful movie franchises in the entire world, and I knew that these would be huge. The first ever Star Wars NFTs being C-3PO and R2-D2, the most, one of the most iconic duos in, in the world, in movies, in anything. So I knew these would be a hot commodity, especially in the future, and I was going to do whatever it took to buy these after the drop. Of course, I tried for the drop. It didn't work out. It's okay. So... I was so surprised when these kept going lower and lower. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't buy it immediately after. I actually, uh, I waited a bit for the prices to drop because I was waiting for every collectible to be delivered. My patience paid off because it actually did drop, which might be a bit risky looking back on it just because how popular Star Wars is, but worked out for me. The Star Wars drops were some of my best value purchases in my opinion. So I was able to get him for just under $300 and he is now sitting just above $1,000. So that's a $720 profit for a 241% gain. Are these right? Yeah, I think that's right. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I got a little paranoid that my, my uh, formulas were a bit messed up, but I double checked my work and we're looking good. But yeah, so 241% gain on this one. Next, we of course got R2D2 same exact thought process for this one and i was so surprised how cheap these were because i really knew the value of these and i thought people were very severely undervaluing them so let's check out r2d2 bought him for just under 500 and he's now sitting pretty at above two thousand dollars so here we have a fifteen hundred dollar profit gain with a 323 percent game star wars i see these being some of the most valuable and popular on the entire app and just in nfc history star wars is massive has been for decades and decades and decades and will continue to be lastly the holy grail as my friend chad from nft pirate says the michael jordan of vv collectibles the partner statue walt disney and mickey mouse we're gonna we're gonna do a little, uh, some anticipation, some suspense here. So here we go. We're going one at a time. Purchase price. If you follow me on Twitter, if you've been keeping up with some of my stuff, you would know that I actually got this for the price of the drop price. That's because I got it on the drop and I got it eight minutes after it was released and I got it on my third rebound attempt. And I was just going back and forth, back and forth, jamming on the, on the spot on the screen where the buy now button was going to pop up. I got it two times, but it didn't go through. The third time, I actually got my reservation and I was shaking. I was pacing back and forth. I was so happy. This is by far the luckiest I've ever gotten on a drop. And honestly, with the direction that VV's going with how popular it is and how hard it is to get drops, and just how much luck this took on its own. I really don't see myself being this much, getting this close to being this lucky again. So if I'm never this lucky again, I'll, I'll be happy because this is one of the premier collectibles on the entire app and its price reflects that. Because as of the time up here, as you can see, November 20th at 1230 PST, the floor price of the partner statue is $8,500. And in fact, it went as high as I want to say 12 or 13. I know for sure 11,000, but it could have gone a bit higher. If I recorded this at the time when it was at its peak, I could have made this video 20K profit, but it's okay. We're gonna go with 15 because I don't want to clickbait, like I said. So as of right now, $8,500 for a profit of 8,100 and a percent gain. Check this out. 2,400% increase on my investment. So here we see my, my, the entirety of my investments throughout Disney's Golden Moments Collection Week for a grand total of $17,065. So this is how I did it. Anybody can really do this if you have the money to invest, of course. Re invest responsibly, only invest what you're willing to lose. 
um i just believed in these so strongly and i knew that after they dropped i knew they were so severely undervalued for what they were going for on the market and just the direction that vv's going the direction nfts are going and how significant these collectibles are for just so many reasons i felt very very confident making these investments and as you can see i would say it paid off i don't know what you guys would say but my opinion 17k in a week that's uh, and that's profit so 17k in a week uh, i'm not going to complain about that at all and i'm very very happy with that so here's how i did it guys hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the breakdown also i just want to say i haven't really had a chance to check in with some some of my milestones but recently we passed a thousand subscribers We've also gotten into the YouTube Partners Program, so those are some huge, huge milestones. It's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to your support. I never would have thought that I'd be someone who makes YouTube videos, but here I am, and man, it's gotten so much better than I expected, and it's been such a fun experience. I love sharing this experience with all, all the VV community, with all you guys. I love sharing my thoughts, my insights, and I love hearing from you guys as well. It's so much fun to interact and just you know, it's a great feeling when someone tells me that through my strategies, they got their first NFT or they got their first NFT in a long time because it's been too hard to get drops or that, you know, they're able, able to learn something from me or whatever it may be. It's just been such a fun experience, such a great experience, it's been such a blessing to be on this journey with you guys. So thank you for that. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you appreciate the video, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing because it really helps my new channel grow and we can spread this info to more people in the VV community and future VV community members. So again, guys, thanks for watching. This has been NFT Flenny. I'll see you guys next time.